My training was in England and Australia, and uh, ultimately I achieved a, a PhD in reproductive physiology. And it was while I was working in Australia that I first came into contact with human IVF at the University of Adelaide. And it was based from that exposure back in the early 80s that enabled me to move into uh, working clinically in IVF full time. In terms of organizations, uh, I've probably been involved in, in all the major uh, societies involved in our, our business, whether it's the European Society of Human Reproduction and Embryology, or obviously the American Society of Reproductive Medicine. Those are the major groups that I belong to, but also uh, I belong to several smaller scientific groups as well and uh, have worked quite closely with embryological groups here in the US to help standardize the approach to uh, technologies in, in this country. Educationally, I took a fairly roundabout route, uh, originally training in physiology and zoology with a view to move on to uh, vet practice, of all things. Having decided to stay in research, uh, I got involved in reproductive biology, actually in, in cattle, sheep, and uh, that was background for my PhD. And uh, at the time, uh, back in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, obviously, Louise Brown was, had just been born, and there was much excitement about the whole uh, process of in vitro fertilization as a therapy for humans. And uh, it was that excitement which drew me into this business. So uh, I've really been involved since the very early days of this process in vitro fertilization. But I took